Hello, my friends, uh, fellow preppers. I wish everyone well. Hope everyone's doing good. And uh, the sun is starting to set, so I'm going to finish this evening with one more video. This video is going to be on modular systems within preparedness. Uh, I'm going to define modularity um, as the definition of the ability of individuals, uh, gear, and uh, plan systems uh, to interface with uh, and into multiple roles uh, while functioning in part collectively to solve problems, uh, needs, and wants. Uh, that's just kind of my little definition I put together on a fly. Uh, this is the art of prepping, and I just want to thank you guys for all your uh, all your comments and subscriptions. Uh, I'm sure that the way this works, I'm still new at this, uh, that people come and go in terms of subscribers. Uh, we've had a handful here and there leave. Not really sure why. If anybody that's left would like to tell me why they left, um, if it's a content issue, if it's an opinion issue, uh, if it's just not, a, not what you're looking for, I'd be curious to know. But, um, uh, but we do have a nice growth, uh, a start of a growth with the channel, and I, I'm very thankful for that. Now, back to uh, modularity systems or modular systems within preparedness. Um, you know, preparation demands a flexible system. Uh, which can interface together. Uh, it's like a type of modularity in itself to overcome the threats and elements of danger around us. Uh, and it comes from, uh, from, you know, all kinds of things. You know, it could be from Mother Nature, uh, like weather systems, man-made issues and disasters. Uh, you know, it just, there's a whole full range of threats. And um, so modular systems within prepping. Uh, these are some examples, um, just to kind of uh, get maybe a little bit more concrete idea of what I'm speaking of. Uh, let's just kind of go with handguns and rifle systems. So um, this is one way you can make a, a more modular system within your firearms. Uh, you could use the same types of scopes on your rifles. So you know how to dial them in, and you're very familiar with them. Maybe the same lighting systems, the same slings, the same stocks. Um, it could be the actual same gun. That's even better. Or maybe at least the same platform, an AR platform or AK platform. Uh, so they can use the same uh, magazines, holsters. Uh, you know, they have the same caliber, so you can store the same ammunition. Uh, it goes on and on. Uh, it makes some maintenance a lot easier. You can standardize all these things. And so that there's, it don't, you don't have to have all these tools for different guns and other guns and trying to store all this and organize all that. Same thing goes with food storage. Uh, select the foods that can work in conjunction with other foods, such as beans and rice that we're so familiar with. But, you know, you can mix in lentils and tomatoes and peppers and potatoes and blah, 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 and all kind of different seasonings and spices. And, and you can really jazz it up. And so having even just five to ten different types of food groups uh, that work together, all together in conjunction, you can make dozens and dozens of different meals out of the same grouping. You just use different combinations of each for each meal. So that's just something to think about. And lastly, we'll just end with packs. Uh, an example of, uh, of modular systems within prepping. Uh, backpacks in particular are really, really a big item. And, uh, you know, having a core organizer. Uh, it could be a basic survival kit or whatnot in each pack that you can pull out. Uh, I really like these belt packs, personally. I like to have one in every pack, and I do. And, uh, and uh, these... These little core organizers, uh, they can be whatever size you feel comfortable, anywhere from a liter to four liters or whatnot, but they have all your basic, basic supplies or whatever system that you're trying to achieve in there, and uh, they can be moved in and out of other systems or carried individually, um, and so um, these, these types of systems uh, can be labeled for certain types of categories. Maybe it's a you know, something uh, for uh, water filtration. So you have a pack just for that. Or like I was saying, maybe a special belt pack for survival. But, um, but these things can be changed out and put in other packs if uh, something else in another pack was used up or if it's damaged. And you can pull from other systems to replenish and resupply. And so uh, th these are just some ideas about modularity. I really like modularity. I think it's our friend as preppers. That's something that we, you know, need to talk about more, and it's not something that we can ever really overstate um, how systems work together. So I wish you all well. I hope you guys are having a great summer. I know it's a hot summer, and there's a lot of bugs out this year, more than most, at least in my area. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well with that. You guys take care and be safe, and uh, we'll have more videos in the near future.